Hi. Most of the time on Read the Stars, I like to keep things nice and light and funny and, and you know, a little bit more entertaining than anything, but it was just irresistible for me today to share with you something that I've observed. Um, you know, a long time ago when I was in college, I had one of those really stern professors who just, like, wanted to always kind of rip me apart. He really enjoyed it, too. And, um, he posed the question to the class, do we believe that history was sequential, random, or cyclical? The rest of the class also, you know, was not very enchanted by this guy, but they answered the question the way that he wanted to hear it, which was that it was either random or sequential. And of course, me being who I am, I said, well, cyclical. Now, I had no idea I was going to wind up being an astrologer, but I should tell you that we astrologers do look at everything in terms of their cycles. And I noticed some patterns in the cycles of two big planets. One is Saturn, in the case of Egypt, and the other one is Uranus. Yes, that's how you pronounce that word, Uranus, in the case of Libya. So, um, I would like uh, you to take a look at the article, and you'll understand a little bit better about what I mean by that. Um, it has to do with the fact that when a planet goes back to, the, to a certain point where it was earlier in history, in these cases, that the points where these two men, Mubarak and Qaddafi, took over their governments. Um, they're like at a point now where it's sort of like, it's over, guys. So it's very interesting, and I don't know what's going to happen in the rest of them, but um, we'll have to wait and see what we observe. Um, apart from that, we've also had a lot of kind of earth stuff going on. We had a big earthquake in New Zealand, very tragic. We have a volcano going off in the Philippines, and, uh, we have that lovely solar magnetic storm that's coming at us. So, I think that everything is going to be all right. Don't, not like trying to say, you know, go dive in a hole with all of that survival food they talk about and the strange advertisements you hear these days. But, um, you know, do be aware that there are changes coming and to be at peace with yourself and make sure you're filling out your potential and doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing at this moment in time.